This week's question comes from one of our viewers in San Francisco in the US. He's an Australian expat uh, living and working there. And uh, his question is, will I be forced to pay 50% more tax uh, on the capital gain on my property sale? And this is something we've been fielding quite a lot lately, but I'll put that into context because uh, this viewer has asked the question, he's basically said, what can I do? But he's being forced into a position to potentially sell his Australian investment property because the bank that he's with uh, have told him that he can't extend the interest only period on his loan. He would actually have to go through uh, a full new underwriting process to make sure that he can qualify for the loan if that were to be the case. And he can't pass serviceability because of the high interest rates currently and the high buffer rates imposed by APRA, etc. So these things are really important. And he's saying, well, look, I can't actually afford to simply go on to principal and interest payments because they're too large for my cash flow to meet. So what can I do? And look, this is a really, uh, it's unfortunately a really fairly commonplace question that we're being asked currently. And there are potentially a few things that people can do because we have some avenues where we have, if you like, special uh, uh, policy um, nuances that we can utilize to help some of our clients to overcome this. Most people we find, whether they're expats or not, but particularly with Australian expats, their, their highest commitments usually are in the areas of rental, so rental payments for their accommodation, school fees, because generally speaking, they're international schools or private schools and they're very costly, and potentially then car payments to go on top of that. So there are things that we can do that have helped a number of our clients when they've been in what they looked at as being a fairly hopeless situation where they'd have to sell that investment property. They wouldn't qualify for the 50% capital gains tax discount because they're not Australian tax residents and they'd effectively have to pay 50% more tax on their capital gain. Now, if you've owned a property for a, a long period of time, that capital gain can be very substantial. And so that 50% extra tax could actually cost you many hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not more. So it's really important to try and maximize the benefit that you can achieve from your intermediary or your lender. Now, if you found this of interest, then uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click like. And if you want some advice or assistance with your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to reach out, email us or call us, and we'll have somebody contact you to see if we can't help you with your own set of circumstances. I'm Andrew Untervega, and I'll see you at the next Q&A.